So now let's add some pictures. Images will be resized to these maximum dimensions. And the reason to choose these is that 150 pixels wide is okay for a, a thumbnail, it's fine. Um, an image that's 250 pixels wide will sit to the left or the right of the screen with text flowing around it, a little bit like a magazine article. An image of about 600 pixels wide would probably fill the screen so your story would have to go above or below it. Let's create a posting to put an image into. We'll go to posts on the left hand side, click on add new, give it a title and let's add an image that sits on the right hand side and the text flows around. By clicking on this little icon here We can select the file from our computer, double click on it, or click on it and click on open, and the image uploads. Now you can see there are the settings that we gave our media settings in WordPress. And we've got the choice of a 150 pixel wide thumbnail, a medium at 250, or large at 600. And that's the full size of the image, a thousand pixels wide. And I'd recommend that you resize your images to no larger than a thousand or a thousand and twenty-four pixels is a pretty standard number. Because any larger than that's going to be too big for the screen anyway, and it'll just create a bit of server overload. I'll explain elsewhere how to resize images. So what we're going to do is choose the medium and we could align it to the left or the center and I'm going to align this one right and another neat little trick we can do is over here it says link URL if we click on file URL that is the location of the thousand wide image which means clicking on the medium size will show the viewer the large size so let's make sure they know to click on it by giving it a caption Click to enlarge. And we're just about done. So what we need to do now is scroll to the bottom of this dialog and insert into post. And here's some text I prepared earlier. Save a little bit of time. And you'll see that it flows around the picture. Now if we hit publish and we can either click on the name of the blog or view post and we'll see what it looks like. And there you have it. There's the story, the image, a small one, but it tells us to click to enlarge, so let's do that. And there you go.